YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends, people of Black Junction TV. My name is Adamir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. And in light of the recent uprisings and what we have seen taking place in the media and this whole conversation around racism and whatnot, uh, a story has come up that I have noticed has peaked its head several times over the past five years or so. And this is a story of Officer Carol Horn. I could be mispronouncing that. It could be a simple Carol Horn. I'm not exactly sure. Please forgive me, guys. But in any case, this woman served on the Buffalo PD um, Police Department, basically, for 19 years, was one year shy of being able to retire with a full pension. And in... In that 19th year, uh, they encountered, um, I believe it's a David Mack, that's the young man you see in the middle of the screen there. Uh, and there were several police officers to include this particular one that you see on the right. To give you a better picture, that's uh, Gregory Kwiatkowski. Uh, I, I guess that's how you would pronounce that. Pardon me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, don't pardon me. This dude got aggressive with the person that he was apprehending. And it's been reported, and I will have links in the description, that in this case, the individual was handcuffed. And this guy became irate and began to choke that person that they had apprehended. And... This 19-year veteran, Miss Horn here, decided that she couldn't just sit there and watch this white male perform such aggressions against someone who was already apprehended and handcuffed, and she intervened. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, she intervened. That is literally all she did. And for that, mind you, this happened back in 2006, I want to say. For her actions, she was fired two years later. They fired her two years later, despite the fact that a year after that incident, where she had to restrain this man, he later went on to individually slam the heads of not one, not two, not three, but four people that he had under his control as a police officer in what would be a stop and frisk. I mean, it doesn't even matter. The fact is, he was out there and got caught out there performing these violations. And what she had done was just so out of bounds that the police department, they went and got a third party arbitrator who turned around and recommended that she be fired. Now, I am certain that in the grand scheme of things, they're going to view this and say that, I, I, you know, it doesn't even matter what they could say. These police officers sought to ruin this woman's life. She served for 19 years. They could have at least given her the respect of a pension had it been any other officer involved in any other incident of violence against black people, they would have at least considered doing that much, saying that the officer has a family to feed or some BS that they come up with. Do you guys know that the officer was sentenced? First of all, he I'm getting conflicting reports and I'm going to side with the one that says he ended up receiving two months house arrest. So basically, or, or, or community services, some crap like that. Uh, they, they sentenced him to less than a year in prison 
but in the end, he only had to serve at, at, at home. This guy, to my knowledge, is still going to collect his pension or whatever he has coming to him. Meanwhile, Ms. Horn had her life turned upside down, a career thrown down a drain for doing the right thing. There was an article two years ago, and again, I have the links in the description for you, where she was ultimately evicted from her home because she had to go to driving trucks. And they evicted her. The, the, the community as a whole where she stayed, they showed her no love. All for doing what many of you so-called good cops claim that you're out there trying to do. Enough is enough, people. Now, normally I wouldn't sit here and put on a cape for any black police officer because I really have to question if you did this as an adult, what were you really thinking? I mean, who doesn't fantasize about being able to walk around with a badge and a gun and, and being able to apprehend the bad guys, right? But you had to know on some level, and that goes to all of you, what it is that you're involving yourself in. And if some of you were naive, and I can understand that, you, you probably know by now. So, so I don't just throw on the cape. But this is important to discuss in light of the fact that we've had all of these deaths and we have potentially three other officers, two of them, who will be going to prison, hopefully, and two of them were, were basically new to their job. They had come fresh out of whatever training academy, whatever they had to do. They were being trained. And I'm sure that they're going to try to pull that card. And I'm speaking in the death of George Floyd in this case. They're going to pull that card. We were new to the job and this was a commanding officer. He had to tell us what to do. We couldn't just jump in. We couldn't just tell him to stop. Whatever the excuse you want to come up with. Part of me wants to feel bad. That's just a part of me. The rest of me says no. It's time for somebody to be made an example of. And black folks are constantly being made an example of. I grew up my entire life being made an example of. And many of you black folks out there know exactly what I mean. So no, no mercy. Let the full book of the law be thrown at you. Because you guys were wrong. He knelt on this man's chest and neck. It, 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 to me, I'm not even trying to speak those, those talking points. You guys saw the video. My man casually sat there with his hands in his pocket, making sure he was applying pressure to the man's upper torso and neck. He made his death the most uncomfortable that he could make it. You all saw the video. This young lady, or older woman at this point is a shining example of what happens when so-called good cops try to intervene. She lost everything as an American. The community completely turned their back on her. She was already in a position where Black folks are going to keep a constant side eye on her. And who's to say that she wasn't a willing participant in other atrocities that were perpetrated, carried out on black folks? I don't know. But I do know the one time that you heard about an officer intervening and stopping another officer from killing somebody. She ended up being fired for her. How disgraceful, how disgusting. And the fact that the authorities out there in Buffalo, New York, this is the same state, mind you, and I keep repeating this every time I get the opportunity. This is the same state where 
you can go somewhere and if you annoy the police, they can lock your ass up. It is that serious. They went and put those laws on a book. Who do you think is going to suffer as a result of that law? Literally, they put it in the books. New York. I hate to say, I grew up in New York, Long Island here, Nassau County, Roosevelt, Uniondale, Hempstead, Freeport, yeah. This woman intervened and was fired, had her entire life turned upside down. And now that there is a renewed push to see justice be served in this case and see them open up their minds and actually go back and just give this woman what is due to her. Anyway, I, 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 I'm done talking. You guys, let me know how you feel about the situation. My name is Ottomir. Holla at me. Links in the description. Oh, yeah. And we want our reparations, too.